Hi everyone and welcome to another Decorate With Us. It's Thursday so you know what that means. It's time for another Tablescape. Tablescape Thursdays is an open collaboration that myself and Renee from O Taste and See are hosting. This week we do have a guest host which is Buffalo Check Chicks. And you guys this is an open collaboration that anybody is welcome to join any week. Most weeks it's freestyle. We're going to try to have a guest host once a month. And all you have to do is create a video and upload it at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which would be 8 p.m. Eastern Time on Thursdays. So without further ado, if you haven't guessed already, we're doing a Halloween theme and I am creating a graveyard. So I've got some things already on the table, some tombstones. The runner is a shelf liner, and then I will be using my black placemats, my black chargers, my black Dollar Tree plates, and then some gray plates that have a pattern on them, but you'll have to wait to see what those are because right now it's hidden. I may end up using these glasses because I believe I only have four of those, but I haven't investigated that situation fully yet. So let's get to creating this tablescape. I started off with my black leather placemats and then I've layered on my black chargers. On top of the black chargers, I've layered in my black Dollar Tree plates. And then you guys, I'm going to stop with the place settings because I don't want to reveal what's on these plates yet. And we're going to work on the centerpiece of it. To help add to the graveyard effect, I've come in with these three black spooky trees that I have. I'm also adding in some of these creepy moss picks. In various places throughout the centerpiece, I have added in creepy crawly bugs. So we have spiders. And we even have a fly sitting on top of this tombstone. I've also added spiders in all over my creepy fabric that I draped around my light fixture. I even hung some on the inside. Now I've added in some spider candles that I got from the at-home store. And I've also added in my skeleton hand wine glasses. I decided to use them and the smoke wine glasses on the ends. And here are the fabulous plates. So each one does have a different pattern on it. And we will take a look at all four. And here is the final reveal. So here is what I decided to do with the place settings. I did decide to use my skeleton hand wine glasses and I just did the mix and match thing so on the two end place settings I used my Dollar Tree glasses and then I didn't want two skeleton hands lined up so I put my napkin off on this side and it is a black napkin but because the napkin ring is glossy it still shows up at least enough for what I was going for but I also only had four of those 
So at my end place settings, I just put the napkin around the plate and layered my gray plate, which I also hadn't discussed. I, those were only a set of four. So I just used plain gray Dollar Tree plates for the two end place settings. Now you guys, technically here you would see silverware, but where I have napkins that are like this, I would just put the silverware inside. So for continuity's sake, while I was filming, I opted to just leave no silverware on the table. And no night view this time, you guys, because there's just too much light coming in through my skylight. And I didn't get a chance to get this set up the day before, so I couldn't film it last night. But I am going to take you in for a closer look with the lights dimmed. And that is it for today. Thanks so much for watching and a big thank you to Buffalo Tech Chicks for being our guest host. I hope you enjoyed and as always, I hope you're having a great day.